Oh, it's raining, it's raining. That's expected in the springtime, right? Well, at least we can expect a lot of like uh, plants and stuff to start growing afterwards. Uh, what's some interesting stuff I read? I actually got a lot of uh, emails and stuff like that's related to drones, which I'll dive into a little bit later. Uh, but first, let's see some fun stuff. I don't know why this was spreading. I got like this uh, video about like a guy and a girl talking about like a pizza. And basically, from what I gathered, it's the logic of if you have one whole pizza and it, it doesn't matter how many slices you cut into it, it's the same pizza, like the same amount. But apparently, um, the girl or whatever, she was arguing or debating with the guy that um, she only wants like eight slices because she can't eat 12. And to him, he's like, that, that makes no logical sense. If you have like even 12, 15 or whatever, it doesn't matter, the pizza is like the same amount. But yeah, they're basically just going, going back and forth, but I'll link it below if you guys want to see it. Again, nowadays, I don't know if these things are like real or like staged. Um, I tend to believe they're staged because I don't want to believe people are like that confused usually with those kind of topics. Uh, the other bit of news which was kind of interesting, apparently like in various places like um, for US destinations and so forth, like the airports, they banned all uh, uh, certain electronic devices like that are bigger than your phone. So anything like a laptop or anything like that is now apparently like banned from the uh, airplane cabin. And from what I gather, it's basically because of some kind of security issue like terrorists and stuff like that. So that's kind of interesting uh, to ban everything. Like there's no laptops, so no longer do people watch, you know, movies or even a tablet, I suppose, based on the uh, guidelines. You know, that got me thinking too, because I even said yesterday, I wanted to research like, well, why did they do this like sudden drone ban all of a sudden? There has to be a logical reason for it. And when this popped, I'm like, is this related? Could there be a possibility that the reason why all these consumer drones and stuff are banned because there was some kind of whatever, like Intel or all that. And the only reason they're saying this is because they don't want to scare the living daylights out of people saying, oh no, there's like a terrorists like you know plot here in Canada people are gonna use drones and attach bombs to them so because of that we're gonna like you know not want anyone to fly so we know for sure like if those drones are in the air then it's a weapon although honestly like just speaking for myself I don't know about anyone else but if that was the case I would probably take the news a lot better if they just say there's a current security issue and what is this oh my goodness security issue and here is a lot of cops <laughs> I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think if that was the case theoretically, would you be better off just, like telling the government, yeah, just say so, but the security threat than say so, then people will be understanding not to fly it. Or would you say like, oh, it doesn't matter, it's still stupid. I don't know, give me your thoughts. And that actually leads me to my uh, next main topic, basically was the main thing of the day. Um, I got this uh, email from DGI. And at first I had all these um, comments about the new uh, Canadian regulations and how, you know, basically in many ways it's silly and so forth where it restricts like uh, casual drone flyers. And apparently there's this organization that's, um, you know, there to kind of be an advocate, a uh, way to kind of gather up all of the uh, drone enthusiasts. And if I have the name correctly, it's a node. I believe it's the network of drone enthusiasts. I'll post the uh, link and stuff and I'll, you know, I'll post a picture on the video. Uh, to my knowledge, this isn't actually run by DJI, but apparently they uh, helped, you know, to build it up to my knowledge in some capacity. I was reading it and for the most part, it seems like a, you know, an advocacy group. And um, if there's like a topic or something like that within like your country, I guess you bring it up uh, to them. And if, I guess if enough people are bringing up the concerns, then they will actually create something, you know, officially, like, formal to send to, like, people who, like, uh, run the country and all that stuff and to educate the general public about the uses of drones. Because, like, even as you guys can see, I mean, from my other videos, a lot of people's general perception of a drone is it has weapons, it carries bombs and stuff like that. So education is necessary. I was actually looking at the... Um, what's available like to join and so forth like I did sign up although I noticed there actually wasn't any uh, Canadian stuff listed although maybe there will be now because I'm assuming after this email blast well probably like a ton of Canadians and stuff like started signing up for this and maybe you guys are submitting your um you know your issues and stuff as well because I know even in the comments some of you guys said like what more can you do like to benefit I guess this is a start uh, it's, it'll be helpful too because even I noticed like from this issue everyone seems kind of like spread out everywhere based on like the community niche or the expertise if that makes sense. 
like for example even though it's affecting us all whether you like fly like an fpv drone for racing or a drone like for photography everyone has like their own separate petition or even like um people voicing their opinions it seems like all the actual like super knowledgeable pilots are staying within their little niche all people like myself for example like that talk about how it affects the general public we are all separated so hopefully this is a great way to get everyone together afterwards so check it out guys i'm kind of uh, excited about this actually actually what do you know right when i talked about that it started it stopped raining <laughs> all right maybe that's a good uh, foreshadowing or something like that how can you believe it? Just a couple of uh, weeks ago and stuff too, you saw all this snow and that lake was frozen like I showed you guys and now like it's full of like, uh, you know, the water and stuff like that. Oh, too bad I can't give you guys like an aerial view. Well, not just because of the law, but <laughs> I don't have my battery anyways. Actually, um, I was looking at the uh, the tracking for the, um, the battery and uh, according to the UPS, it's already in the US, like in Seattle, I believe. So, yeah, who knows? Like I said, I'm in no rush anyways uh, until all this stuff gets uh, figured out. But, uh, let's see. I'm just thinking, since I want to get some practice again with the editing and stuff, um, let's go through the old archive right now and just try to find something to edit and, you know, I'll practice the color correcting and all. Cow, look at this. Things are starting to grow already. Well, I'm hoping the uh, laws and stuff all get sorted out. Like, uh, by the time, you know, I get, like, uh, all the batteries and so forth. Because I'd love to be able to, like, uh, fly eventually once all this stuff, like, uh, blossoms and get, like, the awesome view. And just a general comment, it's great to hear all you guys' uh, comments and so forth to keep the discussion going. Even if people have different opinions, I mean, that's the point of it. To get the conversation going, to make something that's, you know, fair for everybody, in my opinion. Alright, see you guys later.